Hi guys, this is Tracy from Livinia Stamps and welcome to Quick Crafts. Quick Crafts is all about what you guys would like to see. So please feel free to comment below if there's anything that you'd like to see me have a go at and help you. Okay, so today I am talking about backgrounds and I've got my watercolour card here. I've got some elements, I've got my stencil brushes and I've got some of our mystical mica sprays here. And I just want to show you how quick it is to create a really lovely, colourful background. Okay, so I've got Merlot and Pine here. These colours work so nicely together. I've got my watercolour card and I've got my stencil brush. And all I'm doing is just bringing in that lovely colour from the side sweeping it over the top don't worry about any lines or any blemishes we're going to be spraying the <clears throat> mica mists over the top so you won't actually see any lines or blemishes on this by the time you've finished it's all about layering color and texture okay so moving on to the pine again using the stencil brush Just bring in that lovely green. I'm going to bring a little bit more down the bottom here. I do tend to use uh, different stencil brushes for different colours, uh, unless they're very close. So if I wanted to use black, I would also use that brush for grey as well. But if you're going from like a yellow to a green or a pink, then really ideally you need your own colour stencil brush for each palette. Okay, I've got three of our lovely mystical sprays here. I have Bumblebee, Mahogany Twist and Amble Green. Now I think these colours are going to go really well with this background. So let's just give them a bit of a shake and just start spraying a little of that over the top. And then lastly, the green. And then we're going to dry that off and you will hopefully see the micas come through. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of tissue paper now and just mop up any of the excess ink around the edge where it's gathered. So that is a basic background that is so nice to stamp straight onto. Uh, I'm going to grab a stencil now. Just place that over the top just to show you how uh, to layer. I've got my graphite here. So just taking that over this stencil. I just want a nice subtle background pattern background. So just sweeping the brush over the top. You can always add more if it's not enough, but let's just have a look. Let's check in with that. We can also stamp with a few words. So I've just got one of my verses here and I'm going to use the Twilight. This is the Versifying Claire, which is your oil based ink. These are the inks that I tend to stamp with. OK, 
Okay, so I'm just going to ink up. I'm going to take a little bit off first because I want this very much to be in the background. And that again just gives us a really lovely sort of layered textured background. Something ready to stamp straight onto. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment below if there's anything that you would like to see me do, just to help. Okay, you take care. Bye for now.